But first, Halloween may be over for the kids, but for many adults in downtown Orlando, it is just getting started. Police are spread out through downtown to try to keep those crowds safe tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Security is a top concern following some recent shootings. New 6's Troy Campbell is downtown tonight, keeping an eye on the crowds. It's a pretty large crowd out here celebrating this Halloween. We checked in with some people to see how they plan to make this night a safe one. I want to make sure we get here and you know, yeah, time and actually stuff. we're enjoying it. Yeah, it's safe. We don't feel scared at all. No, Everybody's no. been great. Sherry Tolby says she bought last minute tickets to a pub crawl this Halloween in downtown Orlando, visiting from Inglewood, Florida. Every place we went to told us what to look for, what to do, where to eat. It's been Very great. Friendly. Yes. Yes. Others saying recent incidents have them more cautious. Just a little concerned about what happened in Tampa. So that's a little sad. So that's why we got here a little early just to like feel things out. Tampa police say just after bar closed early Sunday morning, gunfire rang out during a Halloween festival in Ybor City. Tampa's police chief says 18 people were injured and two were killed during an unknown dispute between two groups. Investigators saying the youngest victim just 14. On Monday afternoon, Orlando police say a man was kidnapped and then shot by one of his captives when the victim attempted to escape from the vehicle in downtown near Rosalind and Central. About a week prior, following a two year investigation, Orlando police released this video of 20 year old Antonio Jones Jr. last Wednesday, saying he's responsible for the Halloween 2021 shooting downtown, charging him with attempted murder, aggravated battery and several other felony charges. Avery Webb says, he feels safe seeing officers spread throughout downtown. I've usually always felt safer down here. It's quite open and there's always cops at every corner, so usually feel fairly safe. We've also noticed a heavy law enforcement presence here in the downtown area. This spot where we're standing is also just about a block away from where two Orlando police officers were shot last August. In downtown Orlando, Troy Campbell getting results news six.